Hello, my little artists. We are going to get started our, on our Egyptian-inspired project today. And I saw a cat statue when I was looking through all this different Egyptian art. It's hard to see, but it's got hieroglyphs around its neck um, on a collar that was carved into it. This cat statue is over 3,000 years old. Can you believe that? That is so old, 3,000 years. The cat statues were carved and placed into tombs with um, people who had passed away. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this project. You are going to need one toilet paper roll or one um, paper towel roll cut in half. You're only going to need half of it. If you have paint at home, this is the perfect opportunity to use paint. So I have a little bit of blue and white paint. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix that together. Get a nice consistency there. That looks pretty good. And you're going to paint your roll. Now remember, if you are painting, it's important to allow the paint to dry. So you're just painting the entire roll with one thin layer of paint. Alright, after you're done painting, if you painted, set that aside and allow it to dry for about 10 or 15 minutes. If you are not painting, that's just fine. I want you to grab your markers. It's gonna be it's gonna take a little bit longer, but it's gonna look beautiful. Use the side of your marker, hold it down at the side instead of straight up and down. And I just want you to color your tube. Take your time and try to get it colored as evenly as you can. Right, I have my tubes colored. Now remember, you're only making one cat, um, but my painted one is still drying, so I'm gonna set that aside for a minute. I'm gonna show you how to make the cat's head by just taking your finger at the top of the tube and pressing in. There we go, kind of give it a little pinch. Turn it over and do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to press down with my finger and give it a nice little pinch. And we've got our cat ears right here. Not too bad. So when this one dries, I'll do the same thing. Let's see, maybe I can do it right now. Let's see, my roll has a little chunk taken out of it right there, so I think that's a good place to press. There we go, I've already got my cat shape. So now comes the fun part and you get to create your details. You're going to need your markers or color pencils 
or pins for this next part. Up towards the top, I am going to start the ears. This one is still drying, so I'm going to set that one aside again. And I'm going to start, I want to make sure I'm in the middle of the head, and I'm going to start with the cat's nose. So I just have a little curve. I'm going to put a letter V below that, and create its mouth. I'm going to make the cat's eyes. I'm going to start with just a dot on either side. I'm going to try and make my eyes even. So my dots are my guidelines, and I'm trying to space them out equally. So I'm going to place my marker on the dot, and I'm just going to make a curve upward. And then I'm going to make a curve downward. too bad. Now if you would like to put the cat's paws on, we can put those on now. So down at the bottom of the cylinder, you can start with a nice thin 11, almost down to the bottom of your cylinder. There's one leg. And the second one. And then I can draw the cat's paws. Now if you have sequins or glitter around your house, you can definitely use that stuff on your cat to decorate it. But one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to make its collar. So underneath its face, I'm going to draw a line all the way around. We'll see how well I do staying in line. As I come around to the other side, too bad. I'm going to give it a nice wide collar that I'll get to decorate. So I'm just going to go around one more time. One of the things that I thought it might be fun to put on my cat was my name written in hieroglyphics. So I have found a, a hieroglyphics uh, alphabet here and you can pause the video and look for all the letters in your name. I practiced my name. I have, you'll have to figure out what my name is, see if you can figure it out. So I've written my letters, and usually they were written vertical, so I tried that. Now on my cat, I don't think I'm going to be able to write them vertical. I'm going to go across the cat's collar to write my name. So I've already practiced them on a different piece of paper, and I'm going to try them on my cat. So you could also do this in pencil first, and then you could uh, go over it with your marker.
back side of my cat, I am going to draw the tail. You could also make a tail on a different piece of paper and cut it out and glue it on. Do it the way you want to do it. You could glue on all sorts of things. You can make a pharaoh headdress for your cat. It's totally up to you. One of the last things that I wanted to do was add a little bit of sparkling glitter to my cat. So I have got just a little bit of glue. I think I'm going to give my cat like a little headdress here. So I'm just going to do very, very small dots of glue. And to do that, I'm going to touch the tip of my glue bottle to the cardboard as soon as I get it to work. Oh boy, my glue might be clogged. Just tiny little amounts of glue. I want it to be symmetrical, so I'm going to put a small dot of glue on the right side and the left side. Alright, I have my tiny little dots of glue. And you could either use glitter if you have glitter, sequins, maybe you have little buttons. You could also just cut little pieces of paper if you want. Or you don't have to do this part at all. So I'm just placing my sequins on my cat. Alright, finish your cat off the way you want with any craft material that you have at your house or just with uh, markers would be great too. I hope you had fun and don't forget to take a picture of your cat and click on the slide that I attached to the assignment. Put the picture onto the slide, follow the directions right there on the slide and turn it in. I hope you had fun.